Hello and welcome to the Cartoon Catastrophe, where I give you all the facts, news, and crazy reviews. And today, we're going to be talking about <gasps> cats. So many cats everywhere. Wait, 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 wait. We will also be talking about um, Alfred Hitchcock movies that kind of tie in with the cats. But, um, that comes in later. So, yeah, anyway. Today, we will be talking about the cancelled Disney film, Freddy Cat. Freddy Cat is a cancelled Disney film directed by John Musker and Ron Clements that was said to be released in 2009, but was shelved in 2005. It was to be a satire of the Alfred Hitchcock film noirs. And for those one or two people who don't know who Alfred Hitchcock is, he was one of the greatest horror directors of all time. He had many, many movies that were just spectacular. Vertigo, Psycho, the list goes on and on. But he was a master of horror. Give him a look up, he was an amazing person. And I myself admire him very much for his work. But anyway, let's continue. Oscar, a cat, and Karina, a cockatoo, are pampered, spoiled house pets that live the easy life in their owner's London flat. However, when a fellow neighborhood pet is kidnapped and Oscar is the prime suspect, the two must set off on a mission to find out who is the real culprit in order to clear Oscar's name. Brady Cat began production in 2004 under the direction of Musker and Clements with Andreas Deja. Harold Zipperman and Hans Blacher handling character and background designs. The initial story reel was presented in May of that year, and although many of the animators were impressed with it, David Staten wouldn't agree to release the movie. This was because he did not think that it would be able to be marketed to a general audience, on account of average people, especially children. How many kids do you know that have seen a ton of Alfred Hitchcock movies? I mean, it was a cool idea, but I think it was implemented at the wrong time, and it just, it just doesn't work. I mean, it would have been interesting if it was like a short film, but to make it a full movie, I don't think it could have been marketed that well. Now, the main reason that I chose this subject of sorts was because I saw the concept art, and it's just amazing. I mean, this is... 2004, around that time, this is one of the best, this is some of the best looking art I've ever seen. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much speechless. So I'm just going to look at it on my iPad, and I'll show it all up here, but it's just, just look at all this. Just, you know, give it a little more room for a box, but just look at all that stuff. It's amazing. Ugh. Oh, wow. So cool. Huh. Huh. <sighs> wow. Mm. Well, I can give uh, this piece of lost media a not bad out of ten. Yes, I will be rating them now. And yes, they will be memes. So, Thank you so much, and join me next time on the Cartoon Catastrophe, where I'm going to be doing a three-part trilogy. Yay. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope this wasn't too boring for you. Leave down in the comments what pieces of lost media or other stuff you want me to talk about or review or give my general opinion on in general. said that twice. Whoopee. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.